Happy New Year everyone from Vivi and little Marco sleeping on my lap. He enjoy being cuddled. <laughs> enjoy a lot of attention. I have to sit on the floor because of him just so I can get him in the video. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a new environment now. I'm not in my van anymore. I just moved into a new apartment in Sydney, Nova Scotia, just for the winter time. Uh, and then in the spring, I'm gonna move back into my van again. So that's kind of plan because it's the same as last year. And Marco is pretty happy to stay inside, nice and warm. Uh, because he doesn't like to go outside so much during the winter time, it's just too cold, so it's kind of nice to have space for him to run around inside and stay warm and play with him inside as well. So that's perfect for us. Um, in this video though, I want to share with you a ritual that I recently did for the New Year Eve and the New Year Day. Well, I just thought that the this new year is a little bit special because it falls into the new moon and normally we do reflect uh, and manifestation in either New Year Day or also the new moon day, right? So, um, so it's kind of like a double intention to do uh, manifestation and energy clearing. Luckily, I moved into this place by the end of December, so I had the time to do the ritual, like move in and settle in and get the time to get ready for my ritual and my manifestation. Um, it's not a lot actually, I just the I just did an herbal bath and just write out some goals, reflect on um, the year has passed, like what have I achieved and what else that I want to achieve um, in this new year. So yeah, let me walk you through it and if you have done ritual, if you have tradition or ritual routines that you normally do um, in the beginning of the year, the, at the end of the year, share in the comments just so we can learn from each other and have a good start for the new year and keep us um, going forward and keep us having strong, good momentum to go through the year. So here I am preparing for my oval bath. I just got the biggest pot that I have and it just happened to be a wok. So it's like five or six quarts of water so you can just estimate it. Um, whatever pot that you have at home really, um, uh, about the same size of course because the bathtub is pretty big. So you need a big pot for uh, to heat up the bathtub anyway then I just added um, a bunch of different variety of herbs like rosemary, mint, basil, bay leaf, sage, clove, cinnamon but of course you can use any kind of herbs that you like um, whatever that you feel refreshing or invigorating to you so while I let that boil um, and steep like a tea I get my bath going and in the end I added some flower petals to make it more royal and fancy and pretty nice. It smells really good actually. Then I also lit up some candles. So this is for fire elements. Kind of incorporate that into the uh, ritual as well. And it's also at a very nice uh, atmosphere and ambience. Uh, from hot air, I diffuse my essential oil, it makes the room smell really good. And then, um, I just tested the water, it's warm enough, so let's jump in and just enjoy and relax with some nice music. So this is a tradition that I have done for maybe about 3 years now, that every year I review on my life book. It's basically a manifestation journal that I write out everything that I would like to achieve 
in different categories of my life then by the end of the year or beginning of the year I review it back and see where I have where I have gone what I have done what I have achieved and this year I write down one thing that really not working for me and one thing in my goal that I really want to achieve and the affirmation to help me work toward that goal then I just put everything in the envelope and burn it out so this is a new ritual that I carry this year um, because I want to incorporate that powerful energy of fire to transform um, my goals into uh, something achievable and that's the reason why I'm saying affirmation is really helpful while working with the uh, fire energy to really instill the belief um, into achieving the goals why the fire also help to burn down and everything that's corruptible everything that's not working in your life so you can come into the blank slate and start with a new beginning hey did you know that i just published a book you can visit my website livingthroughalchemy.com to download a free chapter and check it out and if you have read and enjoy my book please leave me a review on amazon for good karma and i would also love you for it